Members of the Nigerian Union of Journalists at the State Council observed social distancing principle as the Mark Ward Press Freedom Day. In a remark, Chairman NUJ at the State Council, Sir Roland Dusakwe, said this year's event is held in a low key owing to coronavirus pandemic, pointing out that journalists are on the front line in the fight against the virus and deserves every possible support. While appreciating journalists for the efforts they have put in information dissemination, special guest on the occasion, Barrister Ifali Sibo, advised journalists to do more. We must join hands with government of our various states in the world to fight the infodemic of rumors and disinformation which is exacerbating the COVID-19 pandemic and thereby putting lives at risk. We want to appeal to you to continuously stay alive to be able to save us. Some journalists, representatives of the NBA, Benny Branch, and some members of the civil society organization comment on the importance of the day. It is a day we are also supposed to settle down and review our activities. Are we actually doing what we are supposed to do? Is the society giving us the protection we need to be given? Is the government giving us the real recognition and protection that we need? World Press Freedom Day is to create that enlightenment on the need for those in authority to allow journalists to do their job genuinely. For us journalists to always ensure that we abide by the ethics of our job. Zion Park identifies and celebrates with you on this occasion of the World Press Freedom Day. Journalists have actually helped in projecting and promoting our education for good governance, social justice and human rights. I want to use this opportunity to call on the political stakeholders to take cognizance of the economic interests of journalists. Their theme for this year's Press Freedom Day is journalism without fear or favor. I, Boji Horia, reporting.